This film gives you a thorough instruction of how to set up the Camplet Apollo, Apollo Lux, Savannah, and Concord. Watch the film before the first setup and follow the printed instructions step by step. At the first setup, the supporting legs, underbed storage, peg bag, center awning pole, and crank handle are found in the kitchen. Adjust the trailer into place. Adjust the front parking leg so that the trailer is slightly above horizontal. Screw down the rear supporting leg so that the trailer stands horizontal. Screw down the front supporting leg to support the left corner. Fit the bed supporting leg. The legs can be adjusted to make the trailer stand horizontal. Start by putting the legs in hole number four. It is an advantage to lay out a ground sheet before setting up the trailer. Open the trailer by loosening the screw knob. You can now swing the kitchen out. To get the kitchen legs into place, pivot the legs over and lower the supporting legs down. Lift the kitchen a little and tighten the wing screws. Mount the underbed storage on the luggage rack. Then you will avoid having to climb under the trailer later. Put the long part of the underbed storage to the left to ensure that it is the right way. When opening the lid, start by releasing the front catch and then the rear one. The lid is now easily opened by one person alone, thanks to the gas struts. Remove the elastic cord which holds the tent in place and unfold the tent. The pivot fitting, which keeps the tent well away from the kitchen, is folded out. Press stud the underbed storage inside the frame. The center awning pole has to be mounted to connect the poles. Unzip the windows and remove the protective sleeves. You can now mount the center awning pole. You can now erect the tent in one go. Push the sliding bars out so that the windows are slightly above horizontal. Zip the underbed storage together with the tent on both sides and strap the rest of the tent into place along the lower edge of the trailer. Put the elastic hooks in place and tighten the corner straps. The set of pegs contains sturdy plastic pegs for the tent, steel wire pegs for the mud flap, guy lines for ventilation and curtain clips. Close the windows before pegging the tent. Start by pegging the two rear corners of the trailer in each side. Then peg the two front corners so that the tent stands perpendicular. Place a hand on top of the tent to make sure the windows are horizontal. Put in the rest of the pegs. 
there are two rubber rings at each zip. Crossing the rings will give you the highest stability. Fasten the mud flap. Just tighten the mud flap so that it is in place. Do not tighten the tent with a mud flap. If the holes do not fit due to the base, put in the pegs so that they fix the mud flap. It is time to get the last things in place inside the trailer. Put the cap on the cabin poles. Roll up the cabin curtains. Folding the cabin curtain in this way makes it easy to roll it up nicely. There is a seating arrangement in the left side. The two straps keep the backrest in place. There is a hole in each corner for the straps which hook into the holes in the frame. Push the cushions in place. The trailer comes with a wardrobe bar, a roof supporting pole, a supporting pole and two veranda bars. Mount the wardrobe bar between the cabins. This provides room for your clothes as well as stability. Mount the roof supporting pole on the center awning pole and between the cabin poles and tighten the pole. The supporting pole keeps the tent in place. Mount the fork and tighten the tent. If you want a veranda, mount the poles as shown here. The kitchen ventilation is set up with tent poles and tightened with guy lines. The rear ventilation openings are set up with guy lines. Pull out the ventilation awnings tight and adjust the guy line. All corners are reinforced at the poles. Check that they are in place. The pelmet with pockets is mounted on the cabin poles. The pelmet can remain when closing the trailer. Press stud the pelmet onto the underbed storage. Put up the curtains. Click the curtain holders on over the window. You only have to do this the first time. Put in the small curtain holders and put up the curtain. Now the camplet is ready for lots of happy hours on holiday. When the holiday is over and you have to close the trailer, remove the pegs and poles and put the mattresses in place. Push back the sliding bars and fold down the tent. If the tent is wet when closing the trailer, make sure the windows and ventilation are closed. When folding down the tent, keep the exterior side away from the mattresses and inside cabins. If the tent is damp when folded up, it has to be set up again within 24 hours to dry. Fold in the tent. Avoid bending the windows too much. 
Remove the center awning pole and put on the protective sleeves. Remember to fold down the pivot fitting. It is kept in place by a nylon strap. Put on the tent holders to avoid the tent falling out when the lid is closed. Always close the front catch first. Fold up the kitchen legs and swing the kitchen into place. Fasten the screw knob so that the kitchen shuts tight with the rubber packing. Remove the bent supporting legs and screw up the supporting legs. Now you are ready for new destinations. Enjoy your new camp let.